Hi everybody, DSA here. We want to show you a quick video on how to install the Extreme Duty Scope Mount to your FAL rifle. Machined out of high grade aluminum, the DSA Extreme Duty Scope Mount is the strongest, highest quality FAL scope mount ever produced. On the table we have a DSA FAL with a carry handle and we have a DSA FAL without a carry handle. This is important in selecting which scope mount you would like to purchase and install. We have a short version of our scope mount and we have a long version of our scope mount which would be considered standard for the short one and extended for the longer one. If you want to retain your carry handle you will need to install our standard scope mount. If you do not have a carry handle and you want a longer mounting surface maybe to align with a rail system on your handguard then you would want to install the long or extended scope mount. First off when installing your periscope mount make sure the Rifle clear and safe. Then we want to open the rifle in a normal takedown procedure, removing the top cover and your bolt and carrier assembly. You'll see that the FAL rifle has grooves for both the carrier and grooves for the top cover. Next is to place the mount directly on the receiver and slide it all the way forward so that the back is flush with the receiver. Each scope mount includes five hardened steel plates and ten hardened steel screws. On these plates you will see a larger dovetail and a small groove. The groove goes into the groove in the receiver that once held the steel top cover. Ensure the plate is flush in the receiver and fully into both grooves. Use one screw to lightly fasten the plate in place. Apply Loctite to the second screw and place it in the second hole. Tighten down the screw that has a Loctite applied. Make sure the screw is snug and remove the first screw and apply Loctite. Hand tighten firmly, but make sure not to over torque. Verify that the plate is in its grooves and flat in the receiver. Repeat this function on the remaining four plates. You can start with whatever plate first that you would like. But always make sure that the plates are snug, not over torque, and resting in the grooves in the receiver and in the mount. Once all five plates are installed, take your carrier without the bolt and place it into the receiver, sliding it back and forth to make sure there's no obstructions. It should freely move back and forth. If it does not, most likely that means a plate is misaligned and needs to be removed and reinstalled properly. Your scope mount is now installed and ready for your optic installation.